obviously as you can tell i lost my voice i think that's what makes me me i know there are a lot of people who talk but i feel like when i'm talking i'm talking to you guys and that's the only thing i can do if i gain subscribers when i gain subscribers that is a plus hey family hey what's going on yancy here welcome if you're new you guys welcome back if you've been all right so let me just state the obvious you guys obviously as you can tell one i lost my voice um i don't know if it's just because of the weather that i was in during new york fashion week it was hot then it was raining it just took a toll all right so i'm working through it but right now i kind of have like a phoebe smelly cat friends thing going on so just bear with me you guys <laughs> all right so that's that and then two i'm in a different location i am literally here in philadelphia um helping my cousin with her philly fashion week show helping her get ready so yes we are in a um sonder right now it's a very very nice hotel slash apartment um and it's really cute so if you ever have a chance to stay in a sonder definitely do so all right this one is in the heart of philadelphia and it's so cute so quaint um if you've seen either before this video or after my philly fashion week vlog video then you'll see me do like a whole tour of this apartment but either which way those are the two things that we're going to get out of the way and we're going to just get started all right all right once again i'm yancy if you're new here my channel is all about luxury lifestyle and travel and as you can see i am traveling all right so i'm definitely going to be going to a lot more places you guys so i'm going to be traveling a little bit more so definitely stay tuned for that all right you guys know i love fashion i love sneakers i love everything that has to do with the fashion world so i've been trying to be a little bit more hands-on when it comes to fashion fashion month things that are on trend try to bring that to you so if you were here for that you guys if you want to see more of that go ahead and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it also do not forget to hit that bell all right because if you hit that bell you're getting notified every single time i upload that way i don't miss you you don't miss me and we're here okay all right, so this video is just a regular sit down video. It's actually just me, no makeup, just coming very authentic, you guys. Either which way, I'm giving you my thoughts on how YouTube helped me grow as a creator, and I feel like I'm still doing so. So to start from the beginning, um, I actually came on this platform January 2019, you guys. If you've been following me from the beginning, you guys, and you know I've been on here for a good minute. I know nowadays, four years in is not a long time, but four years to me is a long time, all right? And I know right about now, some people who've been in for two years, maybe three years, even four years, and they have well over 200,000 subscribers, well over 100,000, and I don't have that. I'm not there. I know what I need to do. And I'm going to do that, but I'm not there. And I'm also not rushing the process either, all right? So just giving you five ways that YouTube helped me grow as a content creator, all right? All right, you guys, so first things first, consistency. So basically just to kind of like, you know, piggyback off of what I was saying a little bit earlier, um, I know what I need to do to grow. I haven't yet put my all into it all the way you guys know that i'm very kind of like all over the place when it comes to my uploads and you guys forgive me i literally appreciate you guys for literally subscribing for following for watching for commenting i truly appreciate you guys wholeheartedly okay and i know it could be like a lot to just sit there and say okay when is this person going to upload and it's crazy and it's always something but I think once I get myself in that state of mind of this is what I do, this is what it is, and this is where I want to be, then I can definitely get to a place where I can grow. But so far since I've been on this app, I mean, a lot of people sometimes don't even get over a thousand. Some people don't even get over 500. So for me to be sitting where I'm sitting at 
with over 1,500, over 1,700 followers, subscribers, family members. That's what I consider you guys to be. Um, I'm grateful. I'm appreciative. I love it because every single day, you know, I have someone new that I can see that is following me, that it's commenting, that's growing with me. And I appreciate that. Right. So consistency, I know, in order to grow this platform is key. And I think what happens is you have to just be, you know, head down, do what you need to do, get it done. So basically, if you still have a nine to five job, do your nine to five, come home, bust out some videos, edit them, upload them and you're good to go. The great thing about YouTube when it comes to uploading is the fact that I could actually batch probably 20 videos if I really set my mind to it. With those 20 videos, I edit them and I can have them scheduled to go out. So I think with me, consistency, once I get that consistency down, that'll be awesome. So I never look at it as, you know, it's a numbers game. Of course, everyone wants to, but for the most part, I feel like when it's my time, it'll be my time. Um, there is a video right now on my channel, How to Tie a Bandel. That video has well over 70,000 views and you guys love it. I know I talk a little bit too much in the video, but for the most part, it's a video that's very well received and I appreciate it because a lot of people have literally gone and looked at so many different ways to tie a bandeau. And what I've always heard when it comes to the comments is your method, your way of doing it, your way of explaining it is so helpful. And I appreciate that. So whatever it is that I feel like I am doing, I can do, I'm going to do, if it helps you in any way, shape, or form, I'm here for that, all right? And that's how I look at it. So I'm always here to help, to guide, you know, for us to laugh, for us to have a good time, so on and so forth. So I think that's the best thing about kind of just growing on this platform is you never know. Okay, so the second thing I've learned is just be authentic. Be your most authentic self. If you were looking to start a YouTube channel, just start. Everybody says the same thing, but it actually is true. I never thought I would probably have a YouTube channel. I never did. My kids actually talked me into it. My husband said, go ahead and do it. And not so much like, oh, I don't think, it's one of those things where it's like, I support you. Whatever you want to do, I'm here for you. He's helped me so many times when it comes to editing or lighting or whatever it is. And he's always been there every step of the way along with my kids and I appreciate them for that. Um, I know I get nervous a lot of times where it's, I'm talking too much or I look a certain way or I sound a certain way, but honestly to tell you the truth, this is me, this is who I am and I wanna bring that to you guys because everyone is not the same. I can't do what let's say a Jackie Ina is doing or Patricia Bright is doing. That's them, that's Patricia, that's Jackie. They have done what they're doing and that has been successful for them. They are who they are, they are where they are because of who they are. So at the end of the day, I can't replicate that. And I'm not going to because I'm Yancey, so I'm going to be me 100% of the time. As of right now, I have no makeup on because I decided to just throw up the camera and just talk to you guys. That's another thing. I am a talker, you guys. I know you guys sometimes don't like it, and you can tell me in the comments, listen, girl, you're talking way too much. I've actually heard it. It doesn't bother me because at the end of the day, I'm probably still going to talk. You know what I mean? I mean, I know it's kind of hard right now, but at the end of the day, I'm still going to talk. I like to talk. Um, my mom is one of my biggest supporters also, and she has told me several times, cut it down. And it makes sense. It makes sense because no one even wants to watch an extremely long video. Um, and you don't want to make it too short because you haven't given everyone what they need. However, I think that's what makes me me. I know there are a lot of people who talk, but I feel like when I'm talking, I'm talking to you guys. I'm speaking directly to you. We were having a conversation. We we're in the room. We're sitting. We're chilling. We're talking because this is how I speak with family, with friends. This is what I do. We are sitting here. We're talking. We're having a good time. We're chatting. 
it is what it is. And I feel like that right there is what makes it to where I am my most authentic self with you guys because at the end of the day, you could actually see that. You can tell if I'm real, you can tell if I'm not real, you can tell if it's fake, and that's just what it is. So hopefully I am making content that you guys enjoy, that you wanna watch over and over and over, and you wanna subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be awesome, right? So at the end of the day, be authentic. I'm going to be authentic with you guys. And that's just what it is. All right, you guys. So the next thing I think I've learned and what's helped me being on YouTube and how YouTube helped me is YouTube helped me with patience. Okay, so again, just to kind of go off of what I was saying in the very beginning, um, if this is what you want to do, you definitely have to have patience because you can have a ginormous rise, okay? A meteoric rise in whatever video that you put up, whether it be the first two, the first five, the first video you put up, you can have an uptick of views and you don't even know where it came from, right? Or you can have three views, 30 views, 100 views, 1,000 views. It may not seem like a lot, but at the end of the day, it's your video. People are actually watching it. So it doesn't really matter. You literally, I think it took me about like, I wanna say a year to probably even get to a thousand. I believe a year. Actually, I'm lying. I think it took a little bit more because I've been on here for four years now. So I think it took me about a year to get to 500, another year, to get to a thousand and then in between I'm sitting at seven a little over 1700 so I think just with that it's one of those things where you can't look at the numbers I know it's hard and sometimes I do that I'm like do I have any subscribers today it's just one of those things where you just have to let it be if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't just keep doing what you're doing and just keep being consistent and that's the only thing I can do if I gain subscribers, when I gain subscribers, that is a plus. That is a plus to gain so many more family members, you guys, and we just grow together and we can just go and follow the journey together, holding hands and seeing where it goes. You can't go wrong. But to sit every single day and just looking at your analytics and looking at your phone and seeing, did I grow today? Did I grow today? Did I? It's not going to help. And I don't think that's really how you want to start your channel off or even continue your channel. Basically, just do what you're going to do. You build it, they will come. Basically, that's what it is. If you've ever watched Build Dreams, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So it's a very, very famous quote. And honestly, I always live by that quote. So it's one of those things where at the end of the day, if you're doing what you're doing and people enjoy it and love it, you're going to have the brand new family members come, all right? And you can't worry about it if they don't. If you lose subscribers, it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. You will literally gain so many more family members after. So I think it's one of those things where it's like, listen, once again, if it happens, it happens. But the patience that you have to have to start a YouTube channel, to get on TikTok, to do Instagram, you have to have patience because if you don't, it's going to be so nerve wracking. You're going to be like, I'm done. And that's why they say a lot of people quit after about a year or two because they instantly think that mm, in about two months and about a year, I'm going to have like 100,000 subscribers. You're not. You're not. And if you do, congratulations. And that's awesome and amazing. It is what it is. But everyone's not the same. And you have to see it like that. So. All right, so the next thing that YouTube has helped me realize and how it's helped me grow um, is freedom, you guys. Honestly, to tell you the truth, even though I am not where most people, whether it be brands, other people looking from the outside in will see or think, it has allowed me the freedom to basically be my own boss, be an entrepreneur, do what I want to do. Um, and I think just... In time all of that will come all of that will happen and I'll be forever grateful 
And then I will sit there and say, okay, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. It happened so quickly, but it didn't. You know, it was always on the rise. It was always on the path to happen. It's just that I needed to wait for that to happen. But I think just being able to and having the freedom to do what I'm doing, and don't get me wrong, I no longer work a nine to five because I have been able to and very blessed to be a stay at home mom. So at the end of the day, my time is filled being a content creator and I enjoy that and I love that. And I'm able to actually be home with my family because doing a nine to five, a lot of times I was out of the house and I'm working overtime, I'm missing games, I'm missing dinner. It's just a lot. So I'm in my room, I'm doing what I need to do and then I'm out with the family. I need to schedule, you know, the things that I do better as far as like having batch days, having edit days, upload days, so on and so forth, TikTok days, just doing videos and just uploading it. And that way it gives me a lot more time to spend with family. But I think once I get that down with my consistency, with my organization, um, then I'll be good to go. And it'll just be uphill from there, right? So either which way, YouTube has allowed me to just be free of the everyday nine to five which i think is just it's it's a stressor okay i don't know about anybody else i know a lot of people like the nine to five and i have to admit that i do i like the going in i like the friendships that you make when you're at work but at the same time it's the driving you know it's the always micromanaging a lot of times that just gets to me and i'm like i can't do it so youtube has allowed me the freedom to work for myself and allow myself to do what i want do what i love at my pace all right next the very last thing i feel like youtube has actually helped me grow even in life is the friendships that i've made along the way so far and i really have a lot of really kind nice people that i have met that i really consider to be my friends because it's just the connection it's just having that person who understands you you guys think the same you know and i know a lot of times you know even though we're not talking as much bottom line is even when you talk feels like you just talked yesterday and i think that's what for the most part youtube has done i watch a lot of the stylish fashion girls and when new york fashion week comes around paris fashion week just fashion month in general and then all of the fashion girls get together you see it's like a family reunion they all know each other they all are literally just happy for each other are wanting each other to win and I love that. Like, I seriously, legitimately love that. And I think we need to have more of that. So I think just with that, the friendship is actually what I love the most, I have to say, because it is something that is near and dear to my heart. So, yes. Thank you, YouTube. All right, you guys, so that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully my voice was a little bit more relaxing rather than just creepy, I don't know. But either which way, hopefully it comes back. Um, I'm sure it will. So let me know in the comments if you are on YouTube, how YouTube has helped you grow um, as a content creator. Either which way, like I said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up like the video you guys it really does help it helps get the video out to so many more people if you are new and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe you guys i would greatly appreciate it all right click the bell that way you're notified that way i don't miss you you don't miss me and we're here and i will see you later i'm gonna go drink some tea and i'll see you in the next video and go follow me on instagram go all right yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there